develop important mathematical ideas and strategies. Even very young children benefit. All right, so my little sister, Julia, was having a party. And she wanted to invite all of her friends from school. Because how many kids were in her class? 20. 20. 20 kids? So she has 20 kids in her class, and she said, Daddy, Daddy, please, can I invite everybody to my sleepover? And my dad said, no. No, no way. He said, no way. There's no way all those kids are going to fit in our house. And I can't believe that I would have to watch all of those kids all night long. In fact, I'm not even going to come. I'm going to make Shauna go. So my dad left. And he left me with all the kids. And this is how many kids were at the party. Thumb on your knee if you can tell me how many that is. Michael. There's three green and So I walk in, and there are the kids sitting on the bunk beds. They're all sitting on the bottom bunk. And I walk in, and my sister says, um, Shauna, we're really, really hungry. We want you to go get us some cupcakes. Yeah, I'm trying to do You think they're going to trick me? Yeah. So I was like, OK, you guys, you want cupcakes. There are cupcakes downstairs. I'm going to go downstairs, and I'm going to get the cupcakes. So I go downstairs, get out my tray, and I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many cupcakes do I need? Eight. Why? Because it's eight children. OK, so I take, I take my tray, and I go back up the stairs. And I get upstairs and this is what I say. So there were four where? On the top. And four on the bottom. And you knew that was eight? Yes. So four and four is equal to eight. And three and five is equal to eight? Yes. yes. What happened with these kids? What did they do? Tricked you. How did they trick me? What did they do to trick me? He went down the, the ladder. He went down the ladder? So now how many kids are on the top bunk? Two. Two kids are on the top bunk? And how many kids are on the bottom bunk? Uh, Six. So, Two kids on the top bunk and six kids on the bottom bunk is still eight kids all together? Yes. So it's equal to three kids on the top and five kids on the bottom? Let me ask you a question. Is there any other way that these kids could trick me? Yeah. Could they trick me another way? Yeah. In today's classrooms, mathematics education can be very different from the math that parents were taught as children. Now it's four, parents it's raise questions and issues, and their various viewpoints can spark lively debate. Change for parents can be complicated in the face of unfamiliar and new ideas. When they went to school, they learned four basic strategies, four basic algorithms for computation. They learned how to do long division one way. They learned how to do multiplication one way. They learned how to do addition with carrying. And they learned how to do subtraction with borrowing. And they, were, they see these as the goals of elementary instruction. And so when their children are developing alternative strategies and coming up with wonderful ways to treat number by decomposing and doubling and having and tripling and thirding and um, <clears throat> computing in ways that parents have never seen. Parents don't understand often what their children are doing. 
And in fact, they don't see their children learning the algorithms that they learned, and therefore they think nothing is being learned. Learning this new math requires quite it requires a great commitment on one's part because it means you need to relearn your math and reconstruct you know what you have learned and and then not only that learn how to apply it in the classroom we were all taught this is the way you do it and that's it so either you got it or you didn't now you mm -hmm. have the opportunity to take the same example and turn it in so many different ways and get the same answer, you know. So I think it's great when you have math that has opened up to expand across the board. I'm an engineer, and uh, the funny thing is, listening to you speak, I realized that I did learn carrying and borrowing and all of that in elementary school, and I haven't used those techniques for years because they don't they don't work for me. Uh, I don't remember how to do them very well, and even if I do, they take too long. Um, somewhere along the line. I don't know if it was engineering school, if, if it was majoring in physics in college or what. Somewhere along the line, I just developed other ways of doing problems like that. I loved math, and I just loved going through the sh worksheets or whatever the assignments were that we were doing. But we never talked about why or mm -hmm. how. How come this works? Why? Mm -hmm. And really got into the deeper understanding of it. So I walked away feeling like I knew math, but really I got to college and I couldn't explain mm -hmm. my way out of a problem at all. There may be certain children in the class that see, you know, may see the problem in a different light, get the answer in a different manner, just using your mind differently. They all see each other's process. I mean, they go around the class and they see the 20 different ways that mm -hmm. they've come to the same conclusion. And there's usually one way that's so simple and so clean and so easy, mm -hmm. and the other ways all work. And yeah. no, those other ways aren't put down, but I think mm -hmm. that kids gravitate towards the easy one, that hey. any practical mm -hmm. person would gravitate towards the easy one, but nobody's yelled at the other 19 kids and said, mm -hmm. that wasn't the right way, that wasn't the right way kids just see that this one was, whoa, you know? It just has a little flash of light how easy that is and how it got to such easy numbers or it got, you know, or you could do it in your head or it wasn't really convoluted. One question that parents often ask is whether basic facts, like the multiplication tables, are still being taught in the math workshop. They most definitely are. Once again, it's the relationships between the problems that are at the real core of the children's work. This understanding makes memorization of the facts pertinent to their learning, so they're easier to master. Six and six? Yes. Six and six is 12. How do you know? Because I use five. I use five and five, and I put two more. Okay. Five and five. Let's try. 